Loneliness is a feeling of internal emptiness and void. In essence, you feel alone when you're not alone. They don't tell you that it's a mental state and that's why it's not so easy to pick up the phone. That pretending to be happy isn't always enough. That no one, not even yourself, ever feels like enough. That it's dark and you feel ashamed for being so desperate for company. That loved, happy, accepted and chosen is all you long to be. That no one is exempt from this master. It snatches control over your emotions, your happiness, your life. You become consumed with darkness, melancholy and strife. Where your blue skies have been interchanged with clouds of grey. And you feel like you're roaming with no purpose so the voices in your head you start to obey. Saying you're not important, you're not loved, you're not okay. You're not deserving, you're not beautiful, today should be your last day. Oh, how well do lies disguise themselves as the truth. What loneliness fails to tell you is that there's an abstract ruler higher than this which only comes when you undergo a mental shift. Think like this, you're not alone, you just have a different destination you're heading. You look in the mirror and show love to your best friend. You refine the background noise and filter out what you let into your mind. You choose who your master is. You inherit the spirit of God's wholesome nature. You speak out before the time has start. You no longer let bad company corrupt your good character. You change the darkness and turn it into light. You let God and you let God. That ruler is peace. Peace is one of God's small gifts of infinite power. Peace triumphs loneliness when put into battle. That when you're alone, even though you're not alone, it's a cheerful choice. It can settle every storm and calm every sea. There's a certain wholeness attached to it, completing you like the final piece in a jigsaw, where the fears of tomorrow are non-existent. There's a mental stillness that leaves you just the beauty of life where God rules and hope is restored, where the dead things are brought to life, where the grass is greener and the sky is clearer, a gift that surpasses all human understanding, where anxiousness is evacuated and I can lay down my head and sleep, where not fitting in and people not accepting you isn't that deep, where your smile is constant as if your mouth is stapled in that position, where you look back and you ponder on why it took you so long to transition, where you rewrite your destiny and start talking who you're destined to be, where you're in constant fellowship with the Prince of Peace, so overwhelmed with emotion you can bring a big man to his knees. That's peace. There's peace. You deserve peace. So make your today and tomorrow happier, better and free, please. Put yourself forward and let God attend to your needs. Wake up hopeful and go to bed joyful. You are here for a reason, so make this the best season it can be. But needless I say, you must trust and obey. Patience is key for the peace you want to see. It's a choice that requires an action. Don't let time be your distraction. Choose peace. I hope you can relate to it in some sort of way. Um, I know that through this pandemic, a lot of people have suffered with some form of depression or some form of loneliness and emptiness and just downness. <laughs> but um, I want to help you understand that as much as loneliness is a thing that is about and depression is a thing, peace is also an option. And you have to choose to be happy. You have to choose peace as hard as it is. And although it may not come instantly, if you truly believe it is accessible for all. So the best advice I can give you is let go and let God. That certainly helped me and I can only give you my best advice. And that's what I know would help you because God is not a God that disappoints. But yes, yeah, stay blessed, stay beautiful. And please remember, you are loved despite how you feel, despite the lies that your brain tells you, your mind tells you, they are all lies. You have to take control back over your mind and restore hope in yourself for a better future. Don't become hopeless, don't lose faith, don't lose your will to live, to fight, because your future will be better, as long as you believe it will be better. But stay blessed guys, and I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, share, and tell a friend to tell another friend. Mwah. Love you guys.